people were parked or they were docked in a place they shouldn't be. He was just telling them, Sonia, hey, I need you guys to move. Now, it is a video. There could be some language that happened that we didn't hear or some dialogue that we didn't hear. Right. But based on the video and everything I read, this black man was telling him to move. Now, after telling him to move and the conversation got kind of aggressive, they actually attacked this brother. And I want y'all to watch what happens after they attack this black man, because none of us, a fair minded, moral minded person does not want to see anyone hurt. Right. Right. But we all got to get to a point, Sonia, when the shit pop off based on whatever you believe in. This can be race. This could be your family. Whatever you believe in, sometimes you got to stand up and let the chips fall where they may. This, Absolutely. That, that, that's what this video represents to me. You feel me? So let's. Okay, so we get the point of what we just seen. Let me tell you why this is important, family. Yeah. I see videos every day of black folks killing each other. Yes. A black man don't like what happened in his neighborhood with another black man based on money, based on pride, based on ego. He attack his ass. That We all know that's wrong. We all know that's wrong. I don't condone that. I know the conditions of the black man in my community, but ultimately I say, hey, we need to stop hurting each other. What the Absolutely. hell are we going to do to... to, to, to the George Zimmerman's of the world when, when we see them. That this part. video, Sonia, shows that there has to be some unity based on race too. I'm not, right. I know a lot of you Negroes don't want to hear that, really? but that has to be the case. This young man is swimming. No, let me take it off again. This young dude is swimming to, to the rescue of his brother. Like the black men start running. The worst case scenario in this situation could have been black people around just watching now again we who want to see a fight who want to be involved in violence but fuck that man when something is happening to your people you got to jump into action a part of the reason why we in the situation we in today is because with our minds we don't jump in action we don't jump in action physically like you've seen there. We don't jump in action on a political front. We just don't jump in action. Yeah. This was a video of black folks saying, you're not going to hurt this one black man. Y'all jumping this one black man. I'm coming over there simply for one reason, Sonia. Yeah. You're black like me. Absolutely. And I think that that's why the importance of this platform. And when I reached out to you, I was like, first off, melanated conversations. We need to have more of these conversations where there is some unity, where there is some openness to who we are as a people that one, we're not all the same, but two, we gonna have to have each other's back in a different kind of way. And mm. I think it would behoove us to start doing that in a more um, um, solidified manner because our young folks, they go, they about the shits. Mm -hmm. And since they about the shits, we gonna have to 
piss or get off the pot, right? <laughs> we can't continue to sit back and allow, like you remember a couple of weeks ago, maybe it was last month when we, in Chicago, the woman who was assaulted in the store um, yes. by the black men and her mm-hmm. son, unfortunately, went to the car and said, I got to protect my mama. Yeah. This, these are the notions, folks, that we can no longer sit back and allow for other folks to attack us when we know that we've been guilty of attacking us. And it's a condition. I'm going to always go back to the condition, the condition of racism, the condition that we devalue, they devalue us and we devalue us. Right. Right. And so if we don't see if especially our young folks don't got nothing to lose, Mm -hmm. because when we look at the corners, the, the, the school grounds, the, the playgrounds where, our young black men and women are, and when I say young, anyone under the age of 25, you still young. They mm-hmm. live in a vein of, I'm not promised tomorrow. Mm-hmm. I'm not planning for the future. So when you see one of us being attacked, that is an attack on yourself. And and I just hope, just like use the example of you know the Jewish community with respects to Jamie mm-hmm. Foxx and the last thing that we just talked about, mm-hmm. you see how quickly they came together. Yep. We have to come together and with that speed as well. Yep, yep. And and again, we don't like I know uh watching violent encounters can be des- desensitizing, it can be traumatizing to people. Very. So I'm not quick to just post any yeah ideal of violence or any video of violence, but all of us, our brains are trained the same way. This is why when you're on the freeway and there's an accident on the side, the traffic is so damn slow because something about our lives that make us say, ooh, what's that? Yeah, We don't see this kind of stuff often. So it's always like, ooh, what's that? And like I mentioned, we need to unify on several fronts that don't have anything to do with physical violence. But at some point we have to be willing to go there. Yes. I'm not going to lie and say, I don't like, I don't, I like to see something happening to one of us and another one of us saying, I don't know that black person. But I'm going to stand with I'm that I'm coming person. to the rescue. And whatever that Absolutely. means for me, I'm going to do that. Because, again, in our neighborhoods, if a nigga owe you money or he didn't disrespect it, your woman. Your mama, your you, sister. You, you pulling up to his house with all your homeboys and everybody could possibly die. Right. And I'm like, I'm tired of that. I'm tired like we, of that. We, as well. we know we, we we know the conditionings that cause that, but that's not gonna help us in the long run. Yeah, what we and just so, seen ain't gonna help us. Yeah, but it'll help get the point across. Absolutely, it's and a so means here, to an here end. Are some other um, tips I think that people can just think about. Think about in your everyday lives, the, in the spaces that you um, are mingling in and out of, and if you see someone who is like yourself. Figure out a way. It, 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 you don't have to befriend someone. You don't have to. Oh, that don't have to be my best buddy. But if you see something that's egregiously happening, you know that th- we got the thing in our community where the head nod means something, where fist pump means something, right? Where that eye contact means something. So I'm saying, if you own the job and you don't know that na- that person in the cubicle five cubicles down, but you hear that something else is not happening, that's not right with them you know be the eyes and ears for those situations if your kids come home and they're talking about they're in a at a school where it's very low numbers of us and they Mm. they are teach them ways to stick together teach Mm. them the importance of one their history but the importance of sticking together um if you are in the grocery store or like this in a public place and you see something that's going down there's strength in numbers and Mm. then finally i wish that we can get to a point where you know politically speaking that our platform had five things we gonna do this right for us and Mm. i always ask the question if the the administration that's in office didn't make your life worse compared to did that administration make your life worse, right? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Because we can quantify and qualify outcomes based on that. I know for sure that my life was impacted negatively under the Trump administration. Mm-hmm. I don't want nobody under the sound of my voice, unfortunately. This is my opinion. And if I have any kind of influence and power out there in the atmosphere, I don't want nobody to vote for Trump in 2024. Mm. But conversely, right, we have to weigh and measure 
what the other party is doing because we know at the end of the day, I got to ask the question.